gentlemen, Dennis Day. Dennis Day is brought to you by Colgate Dental Cream and Luster Cream Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Luster Cream, the cream shampoo for true hair loveliness. <laughs> the Dennis Day Show with Barbara Eiler, B. Benadera, Dink Trout, Charles Dant and the orchestra, and yours truly, Vern Smith, is written by Frank Galen and stars our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Here's Dennis to sing the title tune from the new Edgar Bergen motion picture, Fun and Fancy Free. I'm full of fun and fancy free That's the way I want to be I don't let my troubles trouble me I'm fancy free and full of fun Got no time to worry none I'm too busy singing in the sun If you should have the chronic ache Pills won't make you strong The only tonic you should take Is a teaspoonful of song So if you really like to be Happy, lucky, just like me Crown your frowns, my friend And you will see That you'll be full of fun And fancy free If I should see a gloomy gust I'd never hang around You'd see me raising quite a dust Cause I'd be elsewhere bound So if you really like to be Happy, lucky, just like me Frown your frown, my friend, and you will see beauty authority Kay Duman now sends you the winning secret of true hair loveliness. Your hair can be your most captivating charm with one touch of magic, luster cream shampoo. Yes, whether your hair is honey blonde or raven black, sunny brown or fiery red, it's your natural hair appeal that men love. And more and more women of all ages are discovering that luster cream shampoo brings out the fullest natural glory of their hair. Not a soap, not a liquid, Luster Cream Shampoo is an amazing new dainty cream that whips up luxurious lather like magic in hard or soft water, sweeps dullness away, and in its place leaves hair heavenly soft, shining, obedient. Out of her wealth of cosmetic lore, Kay Dumit blended lanolin with special secret ingredients to achieve this almost magic new cream that offers your hair a stunning new sheen and finish. Try that economical dollar jar of Luster Cream Shampoo now at all cosmetic counters. Also 30 cent and 55 cent sizes. Thrill to all those admiring looks coming your way when you begin using Luster Cream, the cream shampoo for true hair loveliness. Well, as you know, when our young hero, Dennis Day, met the girl of his dreams, Mildred Anderson, over a year ago, his immediate problem was to get on the good side of her mother. Unfortunately, he's made very little progress with that problem. In fact, he hasn't even found out yet whether she's got one to get on. So this morning, he decided to seek some advice from one who's unquestionably a qualified expert on the matter, the cuter half of the Anderson family. Mr. Anderson? Yes, my son? <laughs> I've been wanting to have a talk with you for some time, sir. It's about Mrs. Anderson. My little lump of love? <laughs> yes, sir, but with me, she isn't that kind of lump at all. In fact, she hates me. Oh, now, Dennis, I'm sure you're mistaken. It's probably just that you do something now and then that annoys her. Yes, sir, I breathe. <laughs> well, don't you stop, my boy, even for her. But I gotta do something, Mr. Anderson. I can't go through life always scared to death of her. 
But why should you, my boy? Now, I've known Poopsie for years, and I assure you she wouldn't harm a fly. Maybe not, but boy, the way she treats human beings. <laughs> now, Dennis, you mustn't feel that way about my wife. She has a hard exterior, yes, but way down deep inside her is a sweet, kindly, lovely soul. Mr. Anderson, I have no time for dredging. I need help now. <laughs> Yes, son, I, I, I see your problem uh, Mrs. Anderson didn't have much respect for me either Right up to the day that I asked her to become my wife But then, she looked at me in a different light Yes, sir, but I don't think a step like that would be practical for me <laughs> Well, to tell the truth, I really didn't have it in mind for you But, uh, now, what we need is some little, oh, say uh, Hey, wait a minute, I think I have it Are you sure I want it? Yes, I think you do Remember a few weeks back My wife's club put on a drive To help juvenile delinquency? Yes, sir Well, they have a new project now They want the city of Weaverville To build a new jail Gee, they must have helped Juvenile delinquency no end (laughs) Well, no, no As far as I know The two projects are unrelated Except that because of her work On the other one They made Mrs. Anderson The chairman of this one Oh, I see. And you think if I could help her in some way... Exactly. Now, if she can get the city to erect a new jail, despite the objections of the mayor and the chief of police, I have a hunch the club presidency is in her lap. So you see... Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Anderson. Mm. Good morning, Blossom Face. (laughs) Gee, Mrs. Anderson, I just heard all about your problem with the new jail, and you know what? I'm going to help you. Dennis! Don't say things like that, even if you're joking. (laughs) But, Mrs. Anderson, I want to help. Don't you want to hear my ideas? Why should I? I might have a good one. You can't listen to your common sense all the time. (laughs) Dennis, I'm warning you. Stay out of this. We're taking a public opinion poll on a new jail, and that's all that should be necessary to convince the mayor and the chief of police. But I know the chief of police personally, and I could have a talk with him and present your side of the case. Certainly not. Let's at least keep our old jail. If you get mixed up in this in any way, young man... Good morning, everybody. Oh, good morning, Mildred. Good morning, Mildred. Mildred. Just remember what I said, Dennis. Come along, Herbert. Get your hoover. This is your thorough cleaning day. Yes, (laughs) My goodness, Dennis, what's the matter? Oh, I just offered to help your mother with the new jail, and as usual, I made quite a bit of back way. Gee, they really should have a new jail. Prisoners escape from this old rat trap in droves. It'd be wonderful if you could do something to... Say, wait a minute. An idea, huh? Oh, a beauty. Look, I'm the secretary of the committee headed by Mrs. Phillips to take a public opinion poll on the new jail. Yeah? Well, suppose I list houses to call on where we're sure no one's home. This is a beauty? <laughs> well, sure. Because there will be someone there. You. Me? Of course. At each place, you open the door just wide enough for Mrs. Phillips to hear you, but not see you. Then, in a different voice each time, you vote yes on the poll. Wonderful? Wonderful? That's trespassing, illegal entry, housebreaking? Not if we don't get caught. (laughs) We'll pick places that are unoccupied or up for sale. Come on, let's go. You know what, Mildred? If you passed your ideas around to everyone in town instead of just me, they'd have to build a new jail. This house was open for inspection, so we have a perfect right to be here. Gee, never in my wildest dreams did I expect to become all the answers on a public opinion poll. I wish I... Oh, my gosh, look, here's Mrs. Phillips coming up the walk. All right, now, don't get excited. Just remember which way to vote and disguise your voice. Uh, Be Italian or something. Gee, I don't know much about Italian, but I'll try. How do you do? I'm conducting a public opinion poll. That's a fine. I'm a vote the wee wee. I don't quite understand. That's a mean my shoe. I'm in a favor of the new jail. Why, how did you know that I was going to ask you that? Well, uh, that's the question on everyone's lips, you know? Yes? Well, you happen to pass a by just the when it got a by to mine. Good night, please. <laughs> Whew, boy. Dennis. 
says you've just got to be more careful after this. Yeah. Come on, her next stop is 349 Elm. Okay. How do you do? Howdy, Bob. <laughs> Bob! Sorry, Bob S. <laughs> My dear sir. Got something on your mind, lady? Why, yes, I have. Well, as a bald headed rose said to the strip teaser, let's get it off. <laughs> um, well, uh, in your opinion, does the city of Weaverville need a new jail? Why, sure, ma'am. As the clerk in the girdle department said to the fat lady, there ain't no getting around that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Oh, much better, Dennis. All right, let's go. <laughs> How do you do? You're the owner of this house, uh, Professor Nikolai Rudensky? Uh, da. Well, I'd like to ask you a question, Professor. Da? Yes. Will you answer it? Mm, da. Does Weaverville need a new jail? Da. Oh, thank you, sir. And goodbye. Da, da. <laughs> Okay, lassie, I got my opinions, but they're no for free. Now, if you'll give me a halfpenny for my thoughts. Ah, thank you, ma'am. I vote I. <laughs> hey, Ben, hold the Spence and domestic. Well, Hulda, do you think Weaverville should have a new jail? Oh, yeah, sure, you betcha. <laughs> Oh, sure. Me all the same a flavor on new jail for Weaverville. You betcha. Well, thank you very much. And may I have your name, please? Ah, uh, me all the same hip long on fasting dang ding dong bong from Hong Kong. <laughs> uh, could you repeat that? Oh, no, very stylish. Just made it first time. <laughs> Well, faith now on the top of the morning to you, Colleen, darling. And what is it I can be after doing for you this fine morning a store of Hushla McCree? <laughs> Why? Why, Dr. Goldberg? <laughs> huh? Well, that's what your sign says outside the door, Dr. Goldberg. Oh. Tell me, Dr. Goldberg, do you think the city of Weaverville needs a new jail? You are asking me and I'm telling you. What the hell? Well, so far so good, Dennis. And this is the last place. Yeah, but I'm running out of voices. I can't think of anybody else to be. Dennis, just use your imagination. You've got to think of one you... Oh, my gosh, here she comes. I'll run out and try to stall her while you think of something. Okay. You, Mrs. Phillips. Oh, Mildred. Uh, yes, I knew you'd be passing by here, so I thought I'd meet you. How's the poll going? Oh, my dear, it's a landslide for us. But you know, the strangest thing, I never see anyone. <laughs> no, they, they just open the door a crack and put their foot in it. Oh, really? Yes. And oddest of all, they're all wearing the same clothes. <laughs> Light brown slacks and sneakers. Even Hulda Swenson, domestic. Oh, well, you don't say. Mm hmm I do believe it's a trend, my dear. I must wire Adrian immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder who I'll find in this last house. They've all been so unusual today. Good day. I'm... I... I beg your pardon, but could you open the door just a bit wider? No, I can't, because I'm only two and a half years old, so there, too, so... <laughs> Three and a half years old? Yeah, two. Hmm. 
well, then how do you explain the fact that you're wearing light brown slacks and sneakers? Uh, second childhood? <laughs> I don't think so. Perhaps I'd better push open the door and find out for myself. No, wait, wait. Dennis Day! So, it was you all the time. Well, Mrs. Phillips, You've I... You've ruined my pole, that's what you've done. My report is worthless. I'll have to tear it up. Well, Mrs. Phillips, think I... think of you being in every single one of those houses. How could you do a thing like that? We used Mr. Anderson's car. <laughs> what if the idea did blow up in our faces? You're not going to quit, are you? Yep. Dennis Day, are you the kind of a man who takes a beating lying down? Nope, I get up and run. <laughs> well, you're not giving up. I have another idea. Oh, no, Mildred. Yes. This Mayor Brown who's fighting the new jail is a very impressionable man. Now, if an important senator from Washington, in a big hat and a handlebar mustache, told the mayor we needed a new jail, he... Mildred, no, not a senator. I won't do it. I won't. Dennis? No, this I positively and definitely will not do, and that's final. Dennis Day? Very well, Poopsie. <laughs> Come in. Mayor Brown, my name is Gregory. I'm a big senator from Washington. D.C., that is. <laughs> uh, senator, why, this is a pleasure. Sit down, sir. Thank you, old master. <laughs> Mayor, we hear reports in Washington that you'd make a mighty good congressman. A uh, congressman? Oh, senator, not really. Yep. Now, how do you stand on price control, Mayor? Labor, foreign relations, housing, the tariff? Well, gosh, I... Don't believe I ever gave any of them a thought. By George, you might even make the Senate. <laughs> Gosh, Senator, honest. You bet, son. Only there's uh, something standing in the way of your career. We hear, I say, we hear you got a bad jail. On this <laughs> a bad jail? Mighty bad, son. We hear it so bad that you got to lock people in it. <laughs> But they're prisoners, Senator. They vote, don't they? <laughs> well, yes. I love every one of them. <laughs> but, but what can I do, Senator? Build a new jail, son, and fast. I got big plans for you, but you got to cooperate. Now, the first thing that we oh, do... Oh, here's our chief of police. Chief, I want you to meet someone. Oh, hello, Dennis. Hello, Chief. Now, as I was saying, man... <laughs> Wait a minute. You know this man, Chief, and he's not a senator. A senator? Dennis Day? <laughs> oh, that kills me. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do me much good either. <laughs> oh, impersonating a senator, eh? Day, do you know I could have you jailed for this? But I did it for a good cause, Your Honor. That jail you've got is an old rat trap. Why, anybody could break out of it. Anybody, huh? Why, sure, they... Chief, why are you looking at me like that? You said anybody could get out, didn't you? Are you... are you... Is somebody going to get a chance? We're going to hold you on a technical charge of impersonating a senator, wise guy. And if you can get out of our jail, we'll agree to build a new one. Me? You're going to put me in jail? Why, you'll be out in an hour. You said yourself was, it was an old rat trap. Yeah, but suppose I was wrong. You'd leave a boy of my type in jail with those hardened criminals? That's their tough luck. They should have thought of that before they committed their crime. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you. Hey, Frankie. How are you coming with that hole? Okay. Ought to hit daylight any minute now. Atta boy, keep digging. We gotta get out of this. Wait a minute. Yeah? Quick. Cover up the hole. Here comes the chief with the guy. Okay. Okay, kid. Right in here with these two boys. Well, <laughs> I'll see you, chum. <laughs> Hiya, kiddo. Uh, hello, bunkies. <laughs> What's the moniker, kid? The what? The name. I'm Harry the Hook. Yeah, I'm Frankie the Fink. Oh. I'm Dennis the Day. 
<laughs> what kind of a name is that? What kind of a name is that for a crook? Well, you see, I'm not really a full-fledged criminal. I'm just sort of an elderly juvenile delinquent. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah. They just put me in here to see if I could find a way to get out. Say, uh, you boys don't happen to know anyway, do you? Oh, so that's it. You're a stoolie, huh? Huh? All right. Talk, kid. How much do you know? Beg pardon? Oh, don't give me that. Spill it. How much do you know? Well, I went through junior high. <laughs> well, that's not what I mean. You see this fist, buddy? Yes, sir. It's very nicely formed. <laughs> How'd you like it in your face? I... I wouldn't. Then talk. Come on, say something. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Under the spreading chestnut tree, the village... Shut up! <laughs> yes, sir. Let me at him, Frankie. There's nothing I like better than taking care of a stoolie. Ah, lay off, Harry. The guy's no stoolie. I'm telling you, he is. Let me at him. Oh, you're crazy, Harry. He's too dumb to be a stoolie. Oh, yeah? Listen to your friend, Harry. <laughs> Nice guy, huh? I'll show you how we handle stoolies around Harry, here. Watch it. You're pushing him right at the... Hey! Gee, look, a big hole in the floor. Imagine that. Yeah, imagine. Say, we better tell the chief, huh? A prowler could sneak in here that way. <laughs> you hear that, Frankie? He wants to tell the chief. And you said he wasn't a stoolie, you dumb ox. Yeah, well, who pushed him into the hole in the first place, you lunkhead? Who are you calling a lunkhead? And who are you calling a dumb ox? You! Oh, yeah? So you want to play, huh? Yeah. Oh. Gentlemen. Oh. Fellas. Oh. Donkeys. Oh. Please. Hey, you're liable to hurt someone or may not be yourselves. Oh. Harry, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Frankie, don't hit him with that bomb. I guess I just bring out the beast and people. Hey, what's going on here? Oh. Holy smoke. Frankie and the hook, both out cold. It's my fault, Chief. You see, I have... Your fault? Why, you little tiger. Huh? Oh, what's, I... what's this? A hole in the floor. Yes, sir. That's what started it. You oh, see, yes, I... Yes, are you all right? Mildred and Mrs. Anderson, what are you doing here? The mayor phoned us. We came down to get you out. What is this? What's going on here? This kid just cooled off both these thugs. What? Dennis? How did it happen? Well, the way I figure it, the kid dug that tunnel to make the break he said he was going to make. And those two thugs demanded to be taken along. They got tough about it, so Day here will... <laughs> Let's have the rest of it from you, Day. Oh, no. Go right ahead. You're doing fine. <laughs> Look at the size of the hole he dug. And in less than five minutes. <laughs> How did you do it, Day, with no cool tools of any kind? Oh, it wasn't very hard rock. I just used my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Good gosh. Well, this boy has taught me a lesson. The town does need a new jail, and I'm going to see that it gets one. Oh, Dennis, sugar baby, you doll, you. Gee, I lead the most unpredictable life. <laughs> Dennis, I'm so proud of you. I could just kiss you. I'm going to kiss him. I think he's just the most lo... Dennis Day, come up out of that hole. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Dennis Day will be back in just a moment with a song. But first, here's a fact worth knowing. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And just how important that is, our Colgate players are going to demonstrate. Let's look in on a young couple with a love seat, but no love. Listen. Gosh, Judy, you sure are scrappy lately. I've been spending more time in the doghouse than Fido. Oh, Jim, I don't like these cat and dog fights any better than you do. Well, then tell me what the trouble is, Judy. Oh, Jim, your dentist can handle that subject better than I can. So ask him, won't you? And here's what Jim found out. Scientific tests prove that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. And Colgate's safe polishing agent brings out the natural sparkle of your teeth. Cleans them thoroughly and safely. Yes, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. 
Nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate's is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So to clean your teeth thoroughly and safely, for a wake-up flavor everyone enjoys, use Colgate Dental Cream. Remember, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. With Charles Dant in the orchestra, here's Dennis to sing the beautiful old favorite, the Whiffin' Proof Song. To the tables down at Maurice, to the place where Louis dwells, to the dear old temple bar we love so well. Sing the Whiffin' Poops assembled with their glasses raised on high and the magic of their singing casts its spell yes the magic of their singing of the songs we love so well shall I wasting and mavurnin and the rest Remember, doctors prove the palm olive plan brings two out of three women lovelier complexions in 14 days. And this beauty plan with palm olive soap was tested on women with all types of skin. Dry, oily, even skin that was not clear. Yes, 36 doctors proved the 14-day palm olive plan improves all types of skin. Brings fresher, brighter, younger looking complexions. So get palm olive soap and start your 14-day palm olive plan now. <laughs> This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.